Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today we are spectating a 107 elimination Bangalore main, and then we're going to copy their loadout, their perks, their weapons, their legend, and we're going to attempt to beat their score. The question is, what makes a 100,000 elimination player special? Is there anything they do differently, and how is their gameplay? And we're going to have two attempts to try and beat whatever damage and kills they get. Let's get into it. This one's going to be an interesting one. 107,000 Bangalore kills. That is nuts. Yo, nice beam. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe. Ah, uh, yeah. Not a surprise, man. Riku, man. Look at this. Wait. 107,649 Bangalore kills. That is nuts. I mean, I would see this 12,000 kills in Wraith and think, wow, that's quite impressive. But nope. Nothing in comparison to this player. They got three kills in. There are nine squads left. Little do they know there's nobody left. I mean, this isn't like Shiv FPS levels of Bangalore, but it's close. This is like... I mean... I've been playing this game since day one. I've got like 80,000 kills on my account as a whole. This is a next level kind of player. I'm really curious how they play. You know, with someone with this many kills, you really need to think like... How... Good are they, man? Like, they must be, like, on another level. And they play Bangalore, so I'm going to assume they have really good aim. Question is, are they mouse and keyboard or controller? Interesting use of the ult. What's our plan here? She's waiting for the ultimate to clear from the enemy Bangalore. Okay, now she's moving up with her ult. Never mind, there's a Valk... Uh, thing. Okay, here she comes. A little bit of damage. All right. A nice fatigue wall bounce there. I saw that. I saw that. I saw it. Oh, beam with the R9. Absolute violence. Oh, my God. Okay. A little bit of hit fire. She looks like an aim god. She look. Oh, they're dead. Just, you know, there's something about Bangalore mains that has to be, like, analyzed. Has to be investigated. Like, Bangalore mains are on another level when it comes to just... Pushing like crazy, man. They will just push into the most chaotic of situations and come out alive with everyone around them dead. Like, I swear they're, they are a different breed when it comes to just these violent pushes. I hope we can see more actions here. So what perks did she take? This is curious. Um, she took... Uh, sorry. She took... These two perks. Interesting. Alright, here we go. More fights, more fights. Let's see what happens here. She's running. Look at what she's boosting into this fight with a trident. <laughs> she's just like getting the action. Go, go, go. Absolute violence. And you got to respect it, man. The arna has been nerfed, but she's staying true to it. And she's still beaming with it. Oh, the long range beam. Let's hit with the Alstar. Come on. I, one of the things I'm noticing, right? It's just the constant pushing aggression. She's literally sliding down the hill, but still putting pressure on this Loba. Like, constantly. She's a mouse and keyboard player, for sure. Like, this reminds me of Shiv FPS's gameplay in a lot of ways. When Shiv, like, calls for a push, he is that entry fragger that just causes absolute carnage, you know? The aggression is awesome to see. I'd love to see if she's capable of any cool movement or anything. I saw a fatigue wall bounce. She's running the R9 now, star, so I'm going to copy that loadout. R9, big fan of it, although on controller, I'm not great with it. Uh, L star, I love, um, but we'll see how we do. All right, nice little wall jump, just something, just a little something, something. She isn't aware that I'm watching her, so, you know, she's not doing that just for show. She's just doing it because she feels happy to do it. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah. I wonder if she's going to do anything crazy. There's, the thing is with Olympus, there's not too many options for, like, pulling out crazy movement. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you got a couple of zip lines, but not really. It's not like World's Edge or even Storm Point or even Broken Moon, for that matter. The movement opportunities are limited on this map. We can't see if this player is a mantle jump god or just an aim god. All right. Evacking. Only four squads left. Quite a shame. Quite a shame. 
Or too much action left to have. That's the trouble with these pub games, right? They get, like, every lobby, for me personally, is filled with just cracked out of their mind players at this point. Everyone dies within seconds. <laughs> it's nuts. We need, like, a mixture of pubs and three strikes. Like, uh, somewhere in between, and that should be the new pubs. There we go. New fight. All right. Yeah. Nothing there to see, unfortunately. I want to see this player at their potential. Like, I want to see what they'll be like in a sweaty ranked lobby. You know what I mean? Like, what is their stats? Um, okay, I'm in Masters, you know. She's trying to beam at that range of the outside. That is hard to do. I mean, she did, like, almost, almost crack that path. This guy right there, though. Look at this. Instantly just like onto the next target. Onto the next target. That's crazy. Now shoot the door open with the L-Star. Come on. You can do that, by the way. Oh, there's someone behind it. Whoa! Yeah, she is very efficient with that R9 though. L-Star, a little bit harder to master. She's just rolling through lobbies. She's just chilling, having a good time, to be honest. Ah, the flatline. So perhaps the L-Star was not her weapon of choice. Hmm. I wonder if she's a recall smoother enjoyer or a jitter aim enjoyer. I wonder if we'll get to find out. I can guarantee you this last player is a Loba AFK somewhere. Just farming ring closings. I told you, man, it is a Loba farming ring closings. I can guarantee it. Ah, oh, we didn't get to see. <laughs> All right, let's try and beat that score then. Let's go. All right. L star R9. That is what we need to look for. We've got two attempts to try and beat their score. Let's go. It's a Mastiff. They did use a Mastiff late game. No, they didn't. That's the L star. That's the start. Nice. I just need an R9. I don't really know how I feel about the L star. Like, I've had moments where I do well with it, but also moments where I do terrible with it. There's no in between with this weapon. So, this is going to be interesting. A fast fight up here. I've got a caustic in the building. Oh, that was a beam. It is nice not to have to worry about reloading. Do you have an R9 by any chance? No, of course not. Oh, there's one, there's one. Alright, we got the loadout. Nah, you just grabbed it from me. Alright, never mind. That won't be there with me. They're fighting us, that's fine. We'll get past this smelly caustic. Here we go. There uh, are nine in the area. But if she takes that Evo cash, that's gonna be annoying. There wasn't one. Okay. Let's just heal that real quick then. Ah, she also is actually kind of better than I remember. Like, it's been changed so many times. They add barrels, they remove barrels, they add stocks, they remove stocks, they add extended mags, they remove extended mags. It's just back and forth with this weapon, but not gonna lie, it feels... It feels alright right now. Oh. Cut oh. that guy off and focus on this 1v3 real quick. So you guys got it? Alright, nice. There's one left. Cool. Um... Nice, dude. Let me just fix that a little minute. There you go. One left. Are they running? I think I saw a Loba teleport. I do think they just ran for their lives. Yep. Get an R9, man, to complete this loadout. I might use the Outstar more, man. It's kind of like... Yeah, surprised. Kind of... <laughs> actually surprised. I think the DPS of this weapon is amongst the highest real weapons right now as well. I have to look into that a bit more. I think that's the case. 
Because every other weapon keeps getting nerfed. You know, the R9, the uh, assault rifles, all of these other weapons keep getting nerfed. There you go, there's the R9. So the Alstar kind of still hasn't been nerfed in terms of damage. Alright, these are the perks that she chose. Five uh, second smoke cooldown, reduction, and healing in smoke. So that'll be interesting if we can get that to use. I do need shield bats though. Here we go. Right here in the open. I hear my footsteps. Oh no, I got longbow, dude. Got headshotted with a longbow. Well, oh, that was close. There's Nano. Nice, and she's opened up the shop. Uh, light mag? Yeah, it's a purple light mag, man. Oh, that's big. So I'll start on the arrow, so we're just gonna run the R9. I missed the R9, man. I used to always run it all the time. But now it's just a little bit harder with the uh, reduced damage and reduced mag. I'm gonna try and make it work. I think it's still on the roof. Safe to say I haven't been with someone with an R9 for a while, bro. Oh no, bro. Let's hope that he has... Light ammo. I have no choice. Wait, where did I get an R31 out of nowhere? There's a little bit, has a little bit. Okay. Grab the armor swap from that. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, here we go. That's a crack. Nice. Just gotta pop the shield back. Five second pull down. Okay. There she is. Oh, we gotta be the, for the aggression. That's it. That's the aggression. Aggression that Bangalore use. Let's grab that. And we're ready right here. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not so bad early game, right? When you, uh, you know, we're only going up against blue armor. We'll see how it does late game. That's the main worry. Although a couple of people died, so there might be a bit more light ammo. I'm going to check that. Yeah, the Bangalore earlier had definitely been using the R9. Oh, wow, tons. Despite... Like it being nerfed, you can tell that they they were they were still comfortable with it, man. They'd still been using this whole time. I feel like the biggest thing I've noticed with Bangalore mains is they always go against the grain, man. They always do things that just don't seem meta because I don't know. It's an odd one, but they make it work either way. I'm gonna flank around this. Yo, what the? I think I just heard someone slide this way. Maybe in the loba. Basically, running one weapon right now because I can't find an hour star. Let's keep going. Alright. Try and get an L star then real quick. Over three X or something. L star, there we go. There is a two to four X. Nah, I'd rather take this. Alright. I'm up on the roof. Let's see what we're doing with. She was a beamer with the L star and the other. Oh. That's one there. Oh bro. Beat in there, didn't I? What up then? Yeah, the chopper deck is messing me up, Brisson. They're coming back. They're holding height on me. Yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Oh, keep moving up, man. Yo, these guys are really like acid players. Interesting. I'm gonna get on the other side of my teammate. Go in the middle. Go in the middle. Come on. That's it. Up here, there's a pathfinder up here. 
At least there was. I'm so low. Oh, I accidentally overheated. Oh, I'm used to playing the rampart. There we go. Yep. Keep it moving. Why are they all running away, man? Oh, he's so low. Why are they all running? No, they just can't stop running. What are they doing? Oh, nice, nice. There we go. There we go. There's one on the roof. Oh my god. I messed up the R9 name there. Massively. Got more people. Oh, that was so lucky, dude. I could have used my health regen in smoke, but I didn't have one on cooldown. That was close. I don't know why they just kept running. I don't know what they were running from. Exactly. My R9 spread is just terrible on my recoil control. Really messed up. Okay, fair enough. Oh my god, no! I got beamed! Uh, it's rough when you never get another team. This guy's got level 100 on three different weapons. That's crazy. Wait. Well, I have to watch this guy. Well, we failed that one, didn't we? However, the player that we were spectating next was a Revenant player that was even better than the Bangalore we watched. They had some crazy weapon badges, and we'll have to save these spectating talents for the next video. So hopefully I'll see you there. And in the meantime, why not check out this caustic spectating video on screen now? Cheerio.